गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स सैरा वेलकम बैक वंस अगेन हाउ आर यू ऑल आई होप यू ऑल आर वेल एंड सेफ एट योर प्लेसेस चिल्ड्रेन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अ न्यू चैप्टर फ्रॉम द साइंस बुक चैप्टर नंबर सेवन चैप्टर नेम इज एडेप्टेशन इन प्लान चिल्ड्रेन बिफोर स्टार्टिंग दिस चैप्टर आई वुड लाइक टू आज सम क्वेश्चन children tell me which type of cloth do you wear in summer which type of cloth do you wear in summer very good you wear cotton cloth you wear loose cloth you wear thin cloth which protect you from the heat or from the warm so can you wear same cloth in a winter also only cotton cloth single cloth thin cloth no that time you need woolen cloth some thick cloth which protect you from the cold according to climate in environment we change ourselves in summer we drink we eat cold thing and in winter we eat and drink some hot things so it is a adaptation we adapt the things according to environment according to climate so this change is known as adaptation so what is adaptation the change by which an organism or species become better suited to its environment the change by which an organism or species become more better towards environment is called adaptation children you have already learned that plants and animals are living thing they need food water air shelter and the right climate to survive same as plant also need the right type of soil to grow in so plants and animals living in a certain place survive they many plants many animals live in hilly areas live in mountains same as some plants and animals also live in desert but both are survive they survive because they have adaptation suitable to the condition of that place adaptation here again means they have adapt they have changed their living style their behavior their habits according to climates their body structure according to that place that's why they are able to survive in that place so this is the adaptation so the reason because plants and animals are able to survive in a certain places is adaptation children why plants and animals living in a different places survive so answer will be due to the adaptation due to the adaptation plants and animals are able to survive in a different condition in a different places children let's see an example of adaptation in plants children the leaves of water lily plants that grow in water are thin and big and float in a water the leaves of a water lily plants that live in water are thin big and float in a water how they float just because they are thin they having a light weight they are big they having a large volume large surface that's why they are easily float in a water same as a cactus plant which grow in desert having a sharp needle plant needle leaf so they have sharp needle like leaf it is because they 
stop the transfer of water from plants it help to prevent the transfer of water from plant so you can see here two example is given one is of water lily which live in a water and the cactus plant which grow in desert the structure of her leaves are different lily plants water lily plants having thin and big leaf whereas in cactus plants it having sharp needle so the water lily plants having thick and big leaf which make a leaf to float in a water whereas in cactus plants the leaves are sharp and needle it stop the it prevent the transfer of a water from plants because in the desert there is very less water and there is very rare rainfall in the desert so the structure of two different plants which grow in different areas having different structure so it show the adaptation of a plant so it show the adaptation in a plant these two plant change having a change in a structure according to their climate according to their environment here you can see the picture of water lily the leaves are thick big and float floating in a water where a cactus plants having a sharp needle like leaf children because of adaptation to suit their surrounding plants are of different types plants are of different types in different places so what are they let's study the types of plants so what are the different types of plants the terrestrial plants plants that grow on land aquatic plants the plants that grow in water insectivorous plants the plants that are carnivorous in a nature yes plants are also carnivorous in a nature means they eat animals to get their food some there are some plants which are not able to get sufficient amount of food they are not able to synthesize sufficient amount of food by themselves then they are depending on other for their food so they are insectivorous plants and non green plants you have already learned that some plants are there which not able to synthesize their own food they are non green plants okay children tell me why they are not able to synthesize their own food very good the non green plants are unable to synthesize their not able to synthesize their own food because the absence of chlorophyll now we will learn one by one about the plant types of plant so first one is terrestrial plants children the plant that grow on land are called terrestrial plant the plant that grow on land are called terrestrial plant so there are different type of terrestrial plants according to different land forms so first one is the plants in desert we will learn one by one about them the plants in hills plants in the plain the plants which grow in plain areas plants in marshy places so these are the different areas where different lands form where different types of plants grow so according to different climate different surrounding different environment plants are different types children 
First, we are going to learn about the plants which grow in desert. What type of structure they have? We will learn in this. Most of the soil in deserts is dry. There is very little rain, very little water because as it is really rain there. Yet plants live and survive in desert. Having less rain, having less water, then also plants there survive. The root of desert plants are adapted to take water from deep. The roots of deserts in plants are adapted to take in whatever water is available there. So plants like cactus have root that spread out just under the surface of soil. So the roots of desert areas plants are very spready. They grow very they grow in very long distance under the ground in search of water. So they take whatever water is available in the ground. The muscoids bush which is also known as kikar has roots that can grow down to more than 20 meter in search of water. So the length of root of muscoid bush which is also known as keeper keeker is about 20 meter in length. It is 20 meter long under the ground which spread under the ground for the search of water. Here you can see the picture of muscoid bush which is also known as kika. The root is very long. It is very spread under the ground and it is about 20 meter in its length and it's distributed under the ground for searching of water. Children, the desert plants often have small leaves. As I have told in the earlier that desert plants like cactus having very sharp spine like leaves because it prevent the transfer it stop the transfer of water from plants to outside so the desert plants often have small leaves the leaves of cactus are like sharp spines here you can see the structure of cactus which having a uh, leaf like a sharp spines the spines prevent loss of water from the from the leaves here it is mentioned that spines prevents loss of water. It prevent prevent means it stop. It just store. It just decrease the loss of water from the leaves. The cactus stores water in its thick stem. So this plant cactus store its water in thick stem. And when there is no rain, the cactus use the water in its stems the stem store the water and when there is very less rain or when there is no rain then cactus use the water which is stored in stems instead of leaves thick green stems of cactus make food like other plants like in other plants make their food in leaves leaves make food in other plants but in cactus the Thick green stems make food. Children, the next plant is the plant in hills. The plants in hill areas. Children, the hilly areas are very cold in winter. Like Uttarakhand. Kashmir, Himachal Pradesh, these are the hilly areas and are very cold in winter. Some areas also experience snow. There are also snowfall in many areas of hills. Children, the trees that grow here have to survive in the cold and in snow. So they are usually tall and straight. The trees are of hilly areas are tall and straight 
instead of flowers they have cones instead of plants they have cone and the cones therefore is known as and the plants that having cones are known as canny fir this type of plants are known as canny fir so in the hilly areas plants are tall and straight instead of flowers they have cone so therefore they are known as canny fir plants are known as canny firs children canny firs have needle like leaf here you can see in this picture the leaves of plant is like a needle it's like a needle and they are tough and can survive the cold and snow they can survive in cold and snow so the plants of hilly areas are tall and straight and having leaf very tough and needle like here you can see the picture of pine pine tree the cone here in the pine tree instead of flowers they have cones and in cones there is there are sheets so the pine tree is tall is tall and straight and having a leaf like a needle children the tree that grow here have to survive in the cold and in snow so they are usually tall and straight the trees are of hilly areas are tall and straight instead of flowers they have cones instead of plants they have cone and the cones therefore is known as and the plants that having cones are known as canny fir this type of plants are known as canny fir so in the hilly areas plants are tall and straight instead of flowers they have cone so therefore they are known as canny fir plants are known as canny firs children canny firs have needle like leaf here you can see in this picture the leaves of plant is like a needle it's like a needle and they are tough and can survive the cold and snow they can survive in cold and snow so the plants of hilly areas are tall and straight and having leaf very tough and needle like here you can see the picture of pine pine tree the cone here in the pine tree instead of flowers they have cones and in cones there is there are sheets so the pine tree is tall is tall and straight and having a leaf like a needle the tree having sloping shape this sloping shape of tree make the snow fall off them here you can see a tree having a sloping shape so this sloping shape of tree make the snow fall off them easily the spine spruce cedar and fir are the canifers these are the canifer tree which grow in hilly areas spine spruce cedar and fir are canifer they do not shade shade means here lose their leaves all their leaves at the same time and are called evergreen tree so these are called evergreen tree because they do not lose shade all their leaves at the same time so they are called evergreen tree children oak maple birch and beech tree shade means lose all their leaves in winter to protect themselves from the cold here you can see the picture of oak it is it is a picture in summer time 
when it's have leaves and in winter the oak this is a picture of winter when oak tree lose shades it's all leaf to protect themselves from the cold new leaves grow in spring they are called deciduous tree so children the plants which lose their leaves once in a year they are called deciduous tree so oak is the deciduous tree new leaves grow in spring and they are known as deciduous tree children next type of plant is the plant which grow in plain areas the plants which grow in plain areas children trees grow in the plain areas have lots of spreading branches here you can see in this picture the tree having lots of spreading branches trees like banyan peepal and mango grow in the warmer climate of the plants children many plants also grow in the place that's are that are hot and wet example tea tamarind rubber cotton pepper tea coffee and sugar cane these are the example of tree which grow in hot and wet areas these grow well in the type of climate which having hot and dry some of trees are evergreen and some are deciduous the deciduous tree sheds their leaves in dry season in summer means they lose their all the leaves in summer season to avoid the loss of water to avoid the loss of water in oak we have seen that they lose their leaves in winter to protect themselves from the cold but here the trees lose their all the leaves in summer to avoid the water lose because from the leaves only the transfer of water take place so the some deciduous trees lose their leaves in summer to avoid water loss so here you can see the two pictures one is of banyan tree and the other one is of coffee tree in the red color you can see the fruits of coffee tree from it we, will, we are getting sheets of coffee children our next plant is the plants that grow in marshy places children so in this place the soil are clay and having plenty of water all around the plants the water collect in the soil and covers it here in this picture you can see the soil is covered by the water and the water is collected in the soil the mangrove tree grow in such marshy and marshy place here you can see this is a forest of mangrove tree the root do not get air the root do not get air as water cover the soil therefore root grow above the soil here you can see in this picture the roots are grown above the gro ground because water is the soil is surrounded by the water and collected by the water this because of that the roots do not get air as water cover the soil so the root grow above the soil to get the air so these roots are called breathing roots such type of roots are called 
breathing root so children today we have learned the plants which grow in plain areas in different plain areas and about its structure and features so for today your homework is you have to learn the types of plants which grow in plain areas and its feature its character strict